Hey, my little angels, come on in, come in. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, I know we're doing our live feed today, tonight, today at four o'clock my time, which is Ontario, Canada. And I can't wait for that for our 6K celebration. Um, I'm going to do some tapping, show you a couple thrift finds and give you some uh, hints, I guess, hints or pre-looks at some of the stuff I'm using for our Halloween uh, video. Uh, if you're new here and I see that you are, thank you. Thanks for giving me a chance. Um, I hope you like the video. We're going to do a lipstick video today and please feel free to like, to share, definitely comment. I love the comments. I'll respond back and please hit that subscribe button. And those of you that are returning, I see you. I know you. Please, thank you. Accept my gratitude because we couldn't do, I couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you so much. So for today's video, I'm so excited. I was cleaning out my drawers last night um, of my ASMR stuff. And I thought, okay, I found a couple things I'll show today, later for the live feed. Um, guys, I know I showed you my lipstick obsession before. It's gotten so much worse. And that's not including what's in my purse, okay? So I thought maybe we could go through them together and I can decide what I really want to keep and what I really don't. Because I know of two that I really don't want to keep. I just paid a lot of money for them. Even if I used coupons and points, it's still, but I'm going to get rid of them. But I do have my magnifying glass so we can check out colors. Because let's face it, I'm not going to be able to see them otherwise. Now I am trying out some new makeup. Um, not so sure about my blush. I think it's actually supposed to be a highlighter. And it's by ColourPop, and I will show you later. Um, and it's just a circle, but it's almost like a candy cane effect. It, I love it. And I thought, that's going to make a really nice blush. So let me know if it's too much. Definitely don't, as my mother would say, don't want to look like, what is it? Mutton dressed as lamb. And I did do a green eyeshadow today because I like green. And I think I finally found that pale green I've always been looking for. Now I just need the emerald. So shall we get started? Okay, there will be tapping people. There will be tapping. Okay, so I thought maybe, I'm just gonna take them out one at a time and I'll sort them by glosses, liners, lipsticks, and oils. And I think I have a couple lip plumpers in there too. Okay, so here is my Elizabeth Arden. And this one is called the Red Door Red number two. This one I keep because my husband bought it for me. I mean, it's the first time he ever bought me a lipstick. It's a tad bright for me, guys. It really is. But when I want to feel really decadent, I do wear it. And the man went out and picked it out himself, so. And I'm not using my microphone today because this is just a regular um, help me pick out lipsticks or keep lipsticks. So that's a keeper. We're going to keep that one. Now, this one, I'm going to call it a gloss. This is the Summer Friday. And the color for this one, is it on here? Cherry. I love this one, guys. I really do. Um, only thing, it doesn't last a long time. But what gloss does for me, right? If you guys know of a gloss that lasts a long time, the comment section's below, please do. Um, so this one's a keeper, but we'll put this on the gloss side. Okay, and then I think I have a second one of that. I thought I did. Okay, these are the two I don't know what to do with, guys. These are my Dior lip oils. Lip glow oil. I got these because everybody was going nuts for them and they were sold out everywhere. And I bought into the hype. They're awful. I'm sorry, Dior. They're awful. Um, they're sticky. They don't last. They go all over your teeth. Um, when you first put them on, yeah, they're shiny, but so is every other lip oil. So it's gonna kill me, but I'm putting them in the get rid of pile. Decisions have to be made. Okay, now this one I love, 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 love. This is my Charlotte Tilbury. 
Pillow Talk First Dance. I love this color. I love everything about this lipstick. I love the rose gold in it. Uh, for the, I love a beautiful lipstick case, you know? And the color is very pinky, but on me, it looks a little browner than this. And I love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's pretty much my daytime go-to if I'm going out. Usually. Usually. Now, let's see what else I can find. Now, I did find these two reds. Now, I did buy these as a set. This is, I believe, L'Oreal Sublime Red. But this is the Age Perfect. I fell into the hype, guys. I bought it because it was age perfect and I'm like okay I'm of an age I will start screw that guys wear what you want so this is the red it's okay on me I have worn it um, I'm gonna keep them uh, simply because no I'm not I'm getting rid of the lipstick I don't like the lipstick but I love the lip liner and I'm one of those people that does that thing you're not supposed to do but I do it anyway I fill in my lips with lip liner, like I do it. And I always, for those of you that weren't here for my last video, I was taught this by a makeup artist. And I start mine here. I go in here. I never go to the edge. I kind of round them off before that so that I don't draw attention to my left lines. Draw attention to my left lines. So lip liner we're gonna put here. I don't have a lot of lip liners, so. All right, now I got these two in a ColourPop I just opened. Um, I'm wearing this one and I like it. It goes on almost like a lip gloss, lip stain. And this one, let's see, it is Fresh Kiss ColourPop and the color is Saloon. How perfect saloon and this one is the Lux, and it's a lip oil in the bengal now guys i know you guys like this sound it's a lip oil that's not greasy hard to say but it's true so this one I'm going to put over with the Sunday, the summer Sunday, summer Friday. Why Sunday? I don't know. Anyways, now this one, I believe I got this in a ColourPop. I believe, but I could be wrong. No, it is a ColourPop, just a tint, high school musical. What attracted me to it was the color. It's shaped like a pencil. I wear this a lot in videos a lot. Um, it does not go on as cherry as that is. Um, it just gives you a nice fresh glow on your lips and I really like it. And I'm counting this as a lipstick. Yeah, we're gonna count it. Okay. Ah, here's another. Um, this is a ColourPop lip pencil. Lippy pencil they call it. Do they have a color on it? Hmm. Come on. There we go. Uh, oh, snap. That's what it's called. And I like it. It's a great one for natural looks, for when I just want to do a nude or even um, a cafe au lait. You know? I, I think it's a great pencil. I'm really liking ColourPop. I find them um, great quality, great service speedy delivery and they're not break the bank i i have a huge bag for my daughter for um christmas presents and christmas stockings already put away so and the fact that i haven't blown it and given it to her i can't keep secrets i cannot now this is the anastasia one i bought and i'm not a fan of anastasia eye products i am a huge fan of this lip gloss um, i bought it to do my um latte look and it's called butterscotch and Lori Latte actually recommended this one not 
Anastasia, she recommended butterscotch. And she uses ColourPop and her makeup always looks impeccable. So I go by that. This one is great. It smells like butterscotch. It goes on, it stays for a while for a gloss. It's the longest I've ever had. So this is a keeper. We're gonna keep that one. Now, these two I got as a gift with purchase um, from, I wanna say, Estee Lauder. I was gonna say Elizabeth Arden, so there you go. Um, but this color I like. I'll wear this if I go out, so this is a keeper. Does it say what color it is? Let's see. Beautiful Rose. Now it's a limited edition. Okay, good to know. And then this one, I would imagine is the same. Um, limited edition it is warm heart and this one they're very close they're very very close but this one is a little bit brighter so when I, I do a smokier, or darker eye I want a brighter lip um, I never do the same I never do a dark lip and dark eye I alternate them so keeping you don't have a lot to get rid of my own. okay these are my two Lip Plumpers. Um, this one is the Too Faced Lip Injection, which my daughter likes. So I'm actually going to put this aside to give to her. Um, I don't. It does nothing for me. Plus, I am absolutely hooked on the Neora Lip Plumper. In, and this is amazing stuff. Your lips tingle, for sure. Um, you feel, and I can see a difference. And I'm going to try to do it, see if you guys can hear it. I hope you can hear that. Because I do have the fan on, it's really hot up here. But it vibrates, so I really like this one. So I'm going to give that one away, but I'm going to keep this one. Now I'll stick that over. Now you need to know a Neora supplier. So if you want one, let me know. And I can put you in touch with my friend and if she can't do it, she can uh, let you know someone who can, okay, in your area. I like Neora products. They're very expensive. I'm not going to kid you, but they have amazing deals. They have a cream called Proactive. They generally do a two for one. Um, also the firming cream, which is the only thing I use on my neck and my chin because since I lost weight, I didn't want a gobble and I think it works. I personally believe that it works. So let's go keep going. Now this is another, this is a lip pencil from ColourPop, another lippy pencil, and it's called Pitch. Okay, and it's the dark because I want to do a latte lip one day. In fact, I might do it this weekend. So I think this is a great one for a latte lip, you know. And then it goes, they were set and it goes with this lipstick. And it's one of these, which I quite like. It goes on sheer, you get the color, um, but it's not like cream all over your lips. So this one we're definitely keeping, definitely. Now, this one is the one that goes with that other, the O Snap, and it's for a very nude look very very nude look um i would have to have a really really dramatic eye to use something this pale but i'll keep it i'll keep it now I don't... someone's at my door okay hopefully this is working and i can just splice this into the first video because someone was delivering something and the dog was going bonkers okay so where are we up to Okay, this one's a pencil, but I'll be honest, guys, I use this as a liner, and I think it's almost done. Um, but it's a NARS. Oh, there might be, God help us all, what the name of it. Oh, Dolce Vita. It's a velvet matte lip pencil, but it has served its purpose. Thank you so much. You brought me joy. Thank you. Now, 
this one I love. It's my nude lipstick by Revlon. And you know what? We have to throw it out because this is at least three years old and you should not keep lipsticks this long. I don't know the actual date, but I do know I've had that forever. Okay. Um, same as this one. I wanted a pink. It does not look right on me. I keep it in there because I try it every once in a while and nope. It goes very orange on me. I know it looks true pink. It goes very, very orange when I put it on. Okay, this one um, came as a, a gift. And again, it's just about empty. I literally am, it's as high as it's going. So I've been using a brush to take it out. So again, I loved it. Nars, loved it, loved it. This is the only MAC lipstick I own. My daughter swears by MAC, swears by it. Um, I haven't had a lot of luck, but this one is Your Glam One Matte Lipstick, AA2678. Okay, um, but I love the color of it. It's a darky red. I absolutely love this color. I, I would love this in a nail polish. I would love this in a car. I just love this color. So that will keep, okay? Now I have these two glosses. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk one. It goes with my, but I do wear this on top of a lot of things. It does add a nice, very pinky, fair shade. So that's a keeper. This one is, I'm almost out of it. This one, Gloss and Tingles talked about it, who turned Lottie Loves ASMR onto it, and I'm onto it. So I call it NYX, but some people say NYX. Um, it's the Butter Gloss, and this color, I believe is cinnamon, or is it tiramisu? It's tiramisu. Um, which I would expect to have brown tones in it, but it's more pink than anything else. Okay, I really don't know where you get tiramisu from that, but hey, each is all right. I'm keeping that. It's almost out, but I'll get another one. Now, I do have my mini Pat McGrath's um, that I got at Christmas. And remember guys, minis, especially at Christmas and holidays, are the best time to get these brands that are just so expensive you know full size is just this one I don't know what happened to it but it's not working so it's going over here these two because but they're at least three years old so again that's what you but I find the Pat McGrath's are very expensive I did get one for Christmas last year my daughter got it for me and this color Skin Sane, and I love it because it's a very natural color. Very, very natural. That's an everyday lipstick to me. So let's keep this one. Okay, I'm getting rid of some. Oh, found another pencil. This is the MAC Spice, I believe. Okay, guys, if you're gonna get a lip pencil, I recommend this one. It goes with everything. It goes with browns, it goes with pinks, it goes with reds, um, it goes with anything with an orangey or coppery or um, the new cafe latte look. It's definite. This goes with everything. I use this pencil all the time. If you told me I could only have one lip pencil, it would be this one. So that's saying something. Now this is when I was in my dark brown phase, you guys, and this is Divine Wine. It's a L'Oreal. But, and I did wear it a lot. Oh, see, it doesn't look nearly as dark. It is dark on. Um, this makes it look really nice, but on me, it goes very, very brown, which is great. I actually love the color, but it makes my teeth look so yellow. So, so yellow. So yellow. And I take medication that affects my the color of my teeth a lot so I don't want anything that's going to do that this is another one this is my nude um, 
I have a lot of nudes and I can't remember when I bought this. It's at least two years old. Actually, I think this was pre-COVID, so thank you for your service. Now, my NARS. I like NARS. I love NARS lipsticks. You guys know that. However, I wish they would do something to decipher the color because I have to open each one to figure out which one I want because I can't read this. Who can read that? Okay. This one is Immortal Red. This is the one, this was put in the wrong section. I thought I was buying a lavender. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, I thought I was buying a lavender and I came home and found this, but I kind of like it. And when I want to be sexy, I wear this one. So we're going to keep that one. I can almost guarantee the NARS are staying. So let's see what this one is. This one is... Jolie. The game? I don't know what that says. It is... This one. It's a very pink. It's a pink with a rose, and I love this color. As you can tell, I wear it a lot. How do you guys wear your lipsticks? Do you do what I do and put them on at an angle, or do you do the flat? I know someone who does the flat. So it's funny how different people will put it on, and some people use a brush, so, you know. This one, bad reputation. Oh yeah, that's a red and that is way, this is the one I bought by mistake. This is the one that was supposed to be a lavender and there is way too much orange in that for me. However, my little blonde, strawberry blonde daughter, it looks great on. So that one's going over in her section. And then the last one, better be my lavender. This one is damage. Damage, okay. Yes, this is my purple. I love my purple. Now, there are a few of these lipsticks that I have two of. One's up here and one's in my purse. So, there is that. So, we did, we did get rid of quite a few, so I thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys saw some lipsticks you might like to try or whichever. Let me know. Let me know what you guys like or if there's a brand or a color you think I should try let me know. I'm always open. <laughs> and I hope you can all tune in at four o'clock on Ontario Canada time uh, for my live feed for my 6k celebration. I love you. I value you. I honor you. And I'm so very, very glad that you were born.